Well, in today's video I'm going to be making the uh, whitewash to do the inside of the chicken coop. Um, whitewash has been used for a really long time. It's still used by the Amish um, and a lot of farmers. Uh, it's basically hydrated lime powder, salt, and water. That's the mixture I'm going to be using. There's a bunch of different kinds of uh, combinations out there. A lot of people, in order to brighten it up, will use fruit extract and um, there's all kinds of various things that you can add to it to add color to it. I'm going to keep it white. Uh, the reason I'm doing it is I don't want to paint the inside because I don't want any kind of toxins inside the coop. The hydrated lime powder is um, its not caustic to the chickens. It's not harmful to them. Um, it is water soluble so it needs to be used inside the chicken coop and as I clean it throughout the years and everything I will have to reapply it. Um, but by painting the inside or um, coating the inside with the hydrated lime powder, it lessens um, the amount of bacteria that can grow in there. It's harder for bugs to lay eggs in the wood, um, especially mites and things like that that chickens have a tendency to have issues with. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and mix everything together and uh, go ahead and apply it on the inside. Now even though this is a safer product for um, chickens than paint and things like that, I'm still going to be using a gloves, a mask, and glasses because it is a powder. I don't want to inhale it. I really want to try to keep it off my skin as much as possible, but uh, I just want to be on the safe side. So um, first off, I'm doing a gallon of warm water, uh, two cups of regular salt. I'll be dissolving the salt in the warm water. Uh, mixing it really really well and then I'm going to be adding six cups of the hydrated lime powder and my understanding is the consistency is supposed to be uh, pretty close to almost like a runny pancake mix and then you just apply it on the inside and when you first put it on it's uh, apparently it looks really really light and then it'll darken up as time goes by. Right, first off I'm going to add a gallon of warm water and two cups of salt. Alright, you're just trying to get the salt to uh, dissolve in the water. Now this stuff only costs ten dollars for fifty pounds, which is why I put it in one of these food grade barrels to keep it dry. Um, I'll probably be able to use this for quite a few years. So I'll do six cups of this. Now as time goes by, this will thicken up, so you want to try to apply it quickly. I will be painting the entire inside of the chicken coop, including the boxes, everything, even the floor, and then I'll be putting the linoleum back down on it. Um, the hydrated lime powder, it also it naturally absorbs moisture, so the longer this sits, um, the thicker it's going to become. So as I start to apply it, it goes on really thin and then over time it will really whiten up and then I can add additional coats. Um, but by putting it on the flooring, any of the uh, any of the, the urine and stuff like that from the chickens will be absorbed by it. But first I'm going to do the, the ceiling. Get that done. You can see it goes on. It looks really thin. It's not really dripping. Another thing, because this is water soluble, um, you can get it all over your clothes and everything and it'll come right out. It's not like paint where you can ruin whatever you're wearing. Another really good use for this stuff is um, to use it as an antifungal for trees. If you've ever seen trees that have white paint up about three feet, this is actually what they use. It keeps bugs from burrowing into the trunk and it keeps fungus from growing on the tree itself. Across the street, probably sometime this year, planning on planting some uh, apple trees, pear trees, uh, maybe a lemon tree peach trees. So I think that's something that I'm going to do. 
just to kind of deter any kind of uh, bug infestation or fungus growing on it. I think I will be forever reminded of the Karate Kid anytime I'm ever painting. Well, the entire inside's whitewashed. Um, it's going to take a couple days for this to, to dry, from what I understand. 24 to 48 hours, and it's supposed to kind of darken up. And then they add another coat. But just wanted to show you guys what I was doing. A little update video. Um, yeah, until next time. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to start working on the, uh, the chicken run in a week. Just need to save up some funds to get that project going. But, um... Appreciate you guys watching. Leave comments. Um, till next time. <laughs> well, I came outside after a couple hours just to take a look at it, and it sure turned white. So it definitely was worth the work. Um, it looks pretty good. It's uh, still a little bit wet. I'm gonna go over it again with one more coat, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys kind of how it turned out so appreciate you watching till next time